Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XLM, but before I get started, I got to say something. I might not make a lot of videos around XLM right now, but let me tell you something. I hold the same exact amount of XRP as I hold XLM. Why? Because I feel they're very similar cryptocurrencies. If anything, XLM is a fork of XRP. Once Ripple wins that lawsuit, you better be holding your XLM because it's going to skyrocket very fast with Ripple, with XRP. And a lot of people still don't understand that. If you're not holding XLM right now, I suggest you get some before it's too late. This is a very well-rounded cryptocurrency and it has a lot of potential in it. So Stellar Lumen supports fintech startup to conquer billion dollar market in Latin America. And we see here the Techstar program is the first physical training for tech startups in Latin America. It's a hybrid program where the Techstars teams will meet virtually and physically with these startup teams. They will hold these physical meetings in Miami, Mexico City and Dallas with meetings at each location lasting for one week. The program total duration is 90 days with founders from South America, especially Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. The U.S., Latin America, and Mexico participating. A huge underserved market. Blockchain-based distributed ledger Stellar Lumens and digital payments giant MoneyGram are the headline sponsors for this program. It's worth noting that Stellar Lumens and MoneyGram are also partners and they have established a robust fintech ecosystem across emerging markets, including Latin American nations. The Techstar Payment Accelerator Program Director, Tricia Martinez, opines that there are endless financial inclusion and fintech innovation opportunities in Latin American countries that is a vastly underserved market. Martinez added that many businesses seeking solutions to their operations problems such as currency, volatility, and broken infrastructure. I believe they chose Stellar because it's one of the greatest networks out there. And on top of that, I know this crypto is definitely going to take off very soon. And it's at some point, it's going to be a high-valued stablecoin. Wait and see. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but when you least expect it, the institutional transition will be very rapid into utility blockchain protocols. That's what I'm telling you. We're early into crypto. The institutional money hasn't got here yet. That's why we're still able to buy these cryptocurrencies at such low undervalued prices. Two more months, then XLM, XRP, and a few others will be in the green going forward. And I believe they're going to continue to rise in value month over month because a lot of big things are about to happen. We also have ISO going live. Stellar is going to play a big part in that as well. Harvard short, short course on FinTech predicts the new financial system, including CBDC with XRP and XLM, being the underlying tech. Now, if Harvard's teaching this in a classroom and Harvard educations are not cheap, you know XLM is here for the long term. But I like the way they describe Stellar blockchain. Stellar and the attentive native cryptocurrency lumens, XLM, are interesting concepts. In simplest terms, XLM is a global currency like cryptocurrency without borders that can be redeemed in any fiat currency of your choice. Lest that be dollars, British pounds, bitcoins, or Indian rupees. In fact, according to Stellar Communication, it has no owner. If anything, it is owned by the public. The software runs across a decentralized open network and handles millions of transactions each day, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Stellar relies on blockchain to keep the network in sync, but the end user experience is more like cash. Stellar is much faster, cheaper, and more energy efficient than typical blockchain-based systems. And again, if they're teaching this at Harvard, it's here for the long term. They already see what's coming in the very near future. Once CBDCs roll out, it's game over. You're not going to be touching these cryptocurrencies for cheap prices anymore. XLM and XRP owners will be one of the biggest winners of crypto 2023. I think 2023 is going to be huge for all of crypto, but certain cryptos are really going to rise. The utility-driven cryptos, the ISO coins, 
you know, the first two I see moving is XLM and XRP. The others may move some, but I believe the most gains are going to come from these two. XRP and XLM are too promising. Some people believe it's too good to be true what's about to happen. You know, you look at a cryptocurrency, and then when it's sitting at such a low price, it's hard to envision that crypto hitting high numbers later in the future. I still believe XLM is not going to be far behind XRP. If XRP is set to hit $1,000, I feel XLM is definitely going to hit $750 or maybe $800. Who knows? Maybe it'll be priced the same as XRP in the future. America's last and greatest wealth transfer to blockchain plays XRP XLM. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, we're not going to see this opportunity again. The fourth industrial revolution is here. If you invest the right way, you can get generational wealth. Stellar Lumens launches Stellar Aid Assist. And this is what I'm talking about. Real world use cases and non-stop growth. In addition, humanitarian organizations can choose to use existing digital stablecoins and can also create their own tokens to use to pay for funds. Regardless of the method or options adopted, the token can be distributed on the Stellar network and assigned recipients will receive their funds in the Stellar supported digital wallets. And when you see stuff like this going on in the world, and if the Ukraine is already talking about a CBDC using Stellar and the UN is really propping up Stellar, that's where you want to invest your money because these are the people that know what's about to happen. Russia, China may be preparing for new gold-backed currency. Now, this has been going on for a while. And even after that announcement, we see Russia's largest bank issued gold-backed digital financial assets. The world is moving to a gold-backed system. We're going back to the gold standard at some point. And I still feel now that this is more possible than ever, where XLM could be backed by physical silver at some point. The average lifespan of a reserve currency is 90 to 100 years. The new reserve currencies will be made to last a lot longer than 100 years. That can only happen by pegging to something that's been around since God made Earth. Gold XRP, Silver XLM, Copper XDC. And that makes more sense today than it ever did. You know, two years ago when people were still talking about this, people were like, oh, it's all conspiracy theory. That's never going to happen. But here we are today, 2023, and things are moving very fast. They're trying to go back to the gold standard and break away from the U.S. dollar. A lot of countries are doing it. You see it with the BRICS nations. People are so anxious to get to the point where they're filthy rich off these utility coins. But I mean, isn't the journey so much more fun? We'll all have an origin story where we get to tell our kids and grandkids, come on, enjoy the ride. And that's what it comes down to. Think about it. You're investing today into the fourth industrial revolution by buying certain cryptocurrencies. All of a sudden, you get generational wealth. Maybe someday your grandkids come to you and say, how did you make so much money? Well, you could walk them through the year of 2022 where it was nothing but hardship and misery. We watched the market at its absolute worst, crash after crash. You know, we got in before regulations even hit crypto. We're so early in it. Then you could tell them the success story behind it, how XLM made you rich beyond your wildest dreams. That's what's great about crypto. It gives you hope for the future. Think about if you were never in crypto. What do you really have to look forward to? Look where the countries are going today. You know, we see people that can barely feed their families. We see inflation at all-time highs throughout the world. At some point, these banks are going to collapse. It's just a matter of time. When that happens, and this, new, this current financial system is crashing out, crypto is going to rise like never before. That's how you become the new 1%. Then you see this. So you see Ripple and Stellar and the rest of the ISO coins backed by precious metals. People will still argue with this on a daily basis. They're going to tell you it's never going to happen. But the way the world is moving, it all looks like it's headed in this direction. So Happy New Year. Welcome to the fourth industrial revolution. And we see Industry 4.0, the smart factory, autonomous systems, Internet of Things, machine learning. 
And you see that happening right now. Look what Elon Musk is doing with robots. Look at what companies are doing, such as McDonald's, going fully automated. Amazon will get there at some point as well. The fourth industrial revolution technology is moving very fast. I feel we're not investing in cryptocurrencies. We're investing in the technology of the future. But now we just got to sit back and wait to get rich. That's all it comes down to. And I believe 2023 is going to be a very big year for XLM. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.